All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Everybody say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. All right, guys, this is the Concept Egress. Now, some of you are saying, wait a minute, you've done a review on this before. Well, yeah, sort of. So uh, this one came by way of the Apex Pass Around Group, the Concept Egress. There's all the details about it. S35 VN, brown micarta, uh, 3.47 inches, designed by Niche Designs, um, and made by Concept in um, China. So you guys are like, well, why are you doing it again? Well, the reason is when I had this one in, it had lock failure. Um, basically, what was happening was uh, when I would um, open it, the lock was really early and it would just literally fold uh, over and over and over again. So I sent it on uh, back to David from Blade Banner, who leads our Apex Pass Around group, and he was able to fix it. Um, but Concept decided, hey, we don't want to have you know that, so we're going to send him. You know, we're going to take care and send him uh, another one. So they sent me this one direct from China from the factory. And, uh, you know, I've had a better experience with this one. I've carried it. Here, I'm going to move this. So this is going to be sort of a review, but kind of a recap and kind of a different video. But you've got this um, this uh, brown micarta, uh, flat side scales. It is chamfered all the way around. you got black hardware, black uh, one-sided uh, right side tip-up clip, which comes to right about there. Um, I like that it carries sort of tilted to the outside of the pocket, nice and clean on this side. It doesn't carry super big, but you know, uh, you do have a pretty good clip. It came in and out of the pocket just fine. Good retention on that clip. No problems in that regard. Now, um, the interesting part about this is the, the overall design. Now, you guys know I like a knife that looks cool when it's closed. This one's got cool. It's not necessarily my favorite because it's more you know, whatever the word is, um, you know, linear than sort of uh, flowing, I guess you would say. But uh, what you get when you open this is this crazy worn cliff blade, pretty high, uh, flat grind, comes on down, really, really nice, nice flat here as well. Um, really dig it. I like the shape of the hole because I can get down and I can put my finger right there. I can also come up in here. For me, it's been right about there has been the money uh, for the middle finger flick. For thumb flicking, it kind of cradles your thumb and you can just bam, uh, thumb open that right up. Now, uh, the elephant in the room, there is a front flipper. Um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's kind of got this super choppy, um, you know, real tight jimping. And it just doesn't feel the best, but it does work. I mean, it works fine. You'll probably love it. Uh, you guys just know I kind of am not the greatest front flipper fan, front flipper fan in the world. Now, uh, lockup on this one is still like 10 to 15, not, you know, a ton there. Um, and then, let's see, I'm going to look at it off camera. It is centered. Let's see if we can get, yeah, there you go. Comes Tip comes out way to the end there. Not bad at all. You can see that black backspacer here with some jimping on it. Very, very nice. Uh, I like the little cut in here because now you can kind of take your thumb. I talked about this the first time around. Your thumb kind of cradles right in there and you end up with this pinch grip or you can come out to the jimping here and that feels good as well. Now, as far as, whoops, I forgot to talk about one more thing first. Um, no lock rock, no blade play. You do have the Niche Designs logo here. Nick's a really cool dude. Uh, check him out. He's got some awesome designs. The Ahab from Artisan. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. The Ahab from Artisan is one of my favorites. That thing is pretty awesome. Man. Worked outside all day yesterday, so I'm all choked up today. Uh, you do have a nice cardboard breaking down. Uh, whatever you want to use this knife for, it's up for it. Now, it's a little... Thicker stock, uh, but it's still, I would still call it thin. We'll look at what it is here in a minute. It's not bad. Um, nice tip to it here. Very, very nicely done. So let's move all this cardboard 
Who's this guy that always cuts cardboard and throws it all over his table? Oh, yeah, that guy. He's nuts. Um, so there you go. So let's talk specs and pricing and all that stuff. Now, I'm looking this up at Blade HQ, and it is $114 in stock. Uh, so if you're interested in this knife, that's where you can get it. Now, you're talking S35 and Micarta with steel liners. I didn't even talk about that. I forgot. We are talking nested uh, steel liners that are skeletonized. Man, I don't know why you're doing this to me. There we go. Uh, skeletonized really well down in there for weight reduction. Um, really like the fact that the liners are nested. Don't care for... Uh, the liners that come out now it's only it's uh no there's some skeletonization on both sides um all right so now back to our specs and all this it is 8.25 inches long uh 3.8 inch blade uh 3.13 on the blade thickness which is still fairly thin uh it's they call it a reverse tanto which is you know fine if that's what you want to call it uh, the handle length is 4.75, 0.47 thick. Oh, wow. oh, yeah, we forgot to talk about ergos. We'll go in a minute. 3.9 ounces. Uh, liner lock designed by Niche Designs, manufactured by Concept in China. Now, those liners are stainless steel. Um, okay, ergonomically, I did sort of talk about this. Four-finger knife back here, and when you choke up, plenty of room. Feels good in the hand. You do feel the clip, but not in my... This is one of the better ones I've felt as far as that clip. I don't feel it hardly at all. Your hand may very probably will. All right. So the Ontario... Well, I got I picked up the wrong one. So here's the Rat 2 first. And the Rat 2 is quite smaller. And the Rat 1 is about the same length. That is pretty cool. So there's your comparison knives all right guys so um all right let's just go back to the elephant in the room for a second now as i said the first one uh kind of failed on me a little bit and i would say this one as a matter of fact it feels like it has a little more spring in the lock bar you see that even if i just roll it it's going to the same place as if i flick it um so i feel like this lock bar so maybe it was just one bad one bad one. Uh, I have uh, thumped this on my on my notebook like I always do, and it is not failing. Okay, it, it's fine. It's good to go now. Uh, lock bar access is pretty good. Thumb through, uh, dropper down. Very cool because it's a big hunking blade. So, but really cool knife. I've enjoyed checking it out. But I got to get it out to the next person in line who's been waiting about a month now. Uh, <laughs> because, uh, yeah, we were waiting for the new one to come. So there you go, the concept egress, and that is my final say on this knife. So everybody have a great day. Give me a comment down below, thumbs up, uh, all the things, like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.